on the iPads uh, with Google accounts, sometimes there can be issues. So I'm going to show you some ways to make sure that you're not having Google account issues when working on the iPads. Um, whether you're using like Safari or Chrome, and I'm going to go ahead and open my Safari, uh, you may not always be aware if you're logged into different accounts. So like right now, you can see in the upper hand right, I do you do see my account. I'm going to go ahead and just show you though, if you just type in google.com it's going to show you in the upper hand right for sure if you're logged in now you see the my little picture up there in the upper right if I tap on it it shows me that I have two different accounts on here um, I think it's a good idea if you're having problems um, every once in a while to clean it out like right here um, I'm in my yearbook I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign out and like right now, you're going to notice I have different accounts on here right now. But basically, make sure you sign out of those accounts when you're on the iPad. And then go ahead and close that Safari app. So when you're going to do something like a Google quiz, Google form quiz, you can make sure you, that you are in the correct account. Another helpful thing is in the Google Drive app, and I have it on my dock down here, I'll open that up. If you are logged in, I'm going to tap on the three little lines in the upper left, and I'm going to go to settings, and I'm going to go to default apps. It allows you to switch which browser to open things in, um, like I can open it Chrome, Safari, or whatever, but I have it ask me which app to use every time. That can help with which um, browser you need to open for various tasks. Another thing that will help you, and I'm with Google Forms, I'm going to go ahead and go into Google Classroom. And let's say my teacher had assigned me a quiz to take. Go ahead and open it, and right there is Google Sign In. Um, probably shouldn't matter too much whether it's Chrome or Safari. I'm going to go ahead and open it in Safari. Uh, one thing we've noticed, if you are collecting email addresses, and notice right here, it is asking email address, like the account. No matter what, it's a good idea to tap on switch account. And select the school Google account just to ensure that it is accessing that school Google account. It should return you back to the Google quiz and it should show you in your school Google account and at this point you can take the quiz without issues.